On today's episode, we discuss Act 3 of Hamlet. guys, welcome to Shakespeare's Corner, the destination for all your Shakespearean trivial needs. I'm your host, Zachary is Awesome, and today we continue talking about Hamlet. So let's go straight in. And can you by no drift of conference get from him why he puts on this confusion? He does confess he feels himself distracted, but from what cause... He will by no means... King Claudius, alongside Queen Gertrude, converse about Hamlet's current behavior with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. The two friends tell them that they still do not understand why Hamlet is acting so strange. However, they do know that Hamlet is excited for the play that is going to be performed the next night. The king and queen decide that they will see the play to help Hamlet. Give him a further edge and drive his purpose on to these delights. You shall, my lord. Come. He sends Rosencrantz and Guildenstern off as Polonius enters. He then sends off Queen Gertrude so he and Polonius can spy on Hamlet. Polonius commands Ophelia to walk around the lobby as Hamlet enters. He then starts the most famous soliloquy of all time. To be or not to be, that is the question. Well, it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end of them. Hamlet talks about contemplating suicide and the fear of death and oblivion. Mid-thought, he sees Ophelia enter. She returns some tokens of love to him, but Hamlet denies that he ever gave them to her in the first place. He continues to go on a rant about the dishonesty of beauty, and that he did love her once. He criticizes women for making men behave like monsters, and for contributing to the world's dishonesty by painting their faces to appear more beautiful than they are. He ultimately tells her, As Hamlet exits, the king enters with Polonius, declaring that this madness is not from his love, but from plain insanity, and decides to send Hamlet to England. Polonius likes this plan, but still insists that Hamlet is mad with the love for Ophelia. He tells the king to send Hamlet to the queen's room, as he hides once again in her room. It shall be so. Madness in great ones must not unwatched go. Speak the speech, I pray you, as I pronounced it to you, keepingly on the tongue, but if you mouth it... As many of your players do, I had as leave the town crier spoke my life. The next scene has Hamlet lecturing the actors to perform the play as it is written. Then, Horatio enters and Hamlet tells him to watch the king very carefully during the play. The audience enters as Hamlet starts to act mentally deranged once again. The players then start the performance which consists of a player king and queen cuddling. Then the player king goes to sleep as the player queen exits. The murderer enters and pours a liquid into the player king's ear, killing him. After this, the murderer seduces the player queen and she agrees to his advances. The king rises, declaring... Away. Lights. Hamlet and Horatio both mark that this is proof that Claudius murdered Hamlet's father. Hamlet gets really excited and starts to act frantic as Rosencrantz and Guildenstern enter demanding Hamlet go to his mother's chambers. The two ask Hamlet once again about his behavior. I am easier to be played on than a pipe. Call me what instrument you will, though you can fret me. You cannot play upon me. After this rant, everyone exits and Hamlet goes to the Queen's chambers. 
On the other side of the castle, King Claudius asks Rosencrantz and Guildenstern to take Hamlet to England. They leave, and Claudius is left alone. Oh, my fancy's rack. It smells to heaven. It hath the primal eldest curse upon it. Claudius longs for forgiveness, but he cannot achieve that. So he gets on his knees and tries to pray. Just then, Hamlet comes around the corner and sees Claudius there. He runs up and is about to stab him, but soon realizes that if he kills Claudius now, he will go to heaven. Hamlet needs to catch him in the act. My words fly up. My thoughts remain below. Words without thoughts never to heaven go. Inside of Gertrude's chambers, Polonius hides behind some curtains as Hamlet enters. Gertrude tells Hamlet that he has offended his father, to which Hamlet retorts that she has offended his father. Hamlet then verbally attacks his mother, which makes her cry out for help. Hamlet mistakenly kills Polonius, thinking it was the king. Gertrude says this act was rash and bloody, and Hamlet says it is the same as killing the king and marrying his brother. Just then, the ghost of the previous king appears only to Hamlet and tells him not to harm Gertrude. This makes Hamlet get up and starts to pull the body of Polonius out of the room. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see any of the other acts, I'll put links up here. If you want to see an in-depth analysis of everything in Hamlet, go check out my channel. And if you enjoy what you see, why not subscribe? Maybe leave a like or a comment. Again, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one.